Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module 7 of third grade. Name first here, please. You don't want to turn in homework with no name on it. Cut out the unit squares at the bottom of the page. And then use them to make as many rectangles as you can with a perimeter of 10 units. So I think last homework assignment we were making, we we're talking about making areas with particular number of squares and this is where the squares are that they're talking about at the bottom of the page cut those out like puzzle pieces and actually take the time to do that and play with them move them around uh, and you will you will find that you're um, it's much more enjoyable and easier using those and your brain will thank you for it but one of the first things you might try is this you might try this thinking about what we've been working on recently One, two. you might try that because it's 10 squares but that perimeter is 10 plus 10 which is 20 21 22 and we can only have a perimeter of 10 units so think about this is we're not talking about the number of squares or which would be the area we're talking about the number about adding up the lengths of the sides so we can't have that one 10 is too long for the sides because it adds up to a huge number so what about five well if we had five well five plus five is ten already so we'd have to have zero columns and we can't have a rectangle with a side length of zero so that doesn't work either so if five is too big what about four and this is just maybe a mental process you might have gone through playing with the with the squares to try and figure this out uh, so four would give us then if we had the smallest side length we can have is one so this would be four squares and think of this four plus one is five and two fives would make ten right so that's what we're looking for is those side lengths have to add up those adjacent side lengths have to add up to five to make a rectangle with a perimeter of ten so four and one works what about three And if you played with these pieces, you find out there's your fives. And there are no other add end pairs. You're used to hearing factor pairs, probably, aren't you? But there are no other add-end pairs that add up to 5. So that's it. And then find the areas of the rectangles above. So I'm just going to draw this one and write the multiplication equation. And label it and be careful that areas area is square units right and perimeter is just regular linear units Gino uses square unit square tiles to make rectangles with a perimeter of 14 units he draws his rectangles as shown below using square unit tiles so this is the same thing we did on the first page except he's doing it to make 14 uh, perimeters of 14 uh, can 
Gino make another rectangle that has a perimeter of 14? Explain your answer. So this is the thing that we maybe we figured out on that first page that remember we had to come up with the sides, the length and the width added together have to add up to half of the perimeter because you get you get two of them. So how can you make sevens? You can have one plus six and you could have 2 plus 5 and we already have 3 plus 4 so he used that one and he used that one uh, so we there is one right there uh, 4 if we keep going up to 7 we already use 4 because it's in this factor pair and we all use 5 we already used 6 and we can't use 7 plus 0 because you can't have a rectangle with a side length of 0. So we do have 1. It's the 2 plus 5. So then this rectangle is going to be yes. And then we're going to draw a picture of it, and that's going to be our explanation. Let's see, 2 by 5 should be skinnier than that. Like that. Katie draws a square that has a perimeter of 20 centimeters. Estimate to draw Katie's square below and label the length and width of the square. So squares have a square has all equal sides, but just like a rectangle, we need the length and the width added together to come to half of the perimeter. So it just as we figured out before. So for 20, we need half of 20 is 10. So we need a double that adds up to 10, and that's 5 plus 5. And you'll see what happens when we do this. 5's all around, and that's 5, 10, 15, 20. That's 20 centimeters. Find the area of Katie's square. Well, that's 5 times 5 equals 25 square Oh, square centimeters, not square units. Square cm. Now estimate to draw a different rectangle that has the same perimeter as kd square. So we need a rectangle, a different rectangle that has a perimeter of 20. So all we need are a length and a width that adds up to 10. So think about your partners to 10. How about 3 by 7? Right, because there's a 10, and there's a 10, so that adds up to 20. And I wrote over the question there, but hey, you know, sometimes it happens. That's okay. Which shape has a greater area? Katie's square or your rectangle? So Katie's square is, now depending on the rectangle you drew, because it didn't have to be a 3 by 7, it could have been a 4 by 6, it could have been a 2 by 8, it could have been a 
Could have been a one by nine. So you, it, your answer really could be different depending on which kind, which rectangle you drew. So which one is better? Okay, so Katie's. That's three times seven. Twenty-one. square centimeters Katie's square is 25 which is greater than 21 square centimeter rectangle and however yours comes out your yours may end up being um, it might have a could have a greater area maybe not think about that question because that might tell you something think about that is a square always going to have the most area of any rectangle given the same perimeter think about that maybe you could make a rule out of that 